Uh, let's go to Andy, who's an Arsenal fan. All right, Andy. Good evening, mate. Uh, you got a question for Bullard? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering about how the, um, the celebration come about with the uh, with the Phil Brown. Ah, uh, yeah. On. This is a good one. I get asked this a bit as well. So um, it's, it's iconic. Yeah, it's a big one. So so the year before I wasn't there, Brownie kept all, you know, he kept all the team out of Man City half time. Yeah. Never been seen before. A lot of players found it degrading. Yeah. Yeah. There was a few like I don't know, there's a few like not having it like out of all the whatever. Brownie's Brownie. Brownie will put you on your toes, mate. He doesn't mess about. If he feels like he's going to do something, Brownie do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um Players didn't like it. So anyways, um, the year after, I'm there and um, um, Paul, M- Paul McShane, yeah. the mad Irishman, we're all having our pre-match. He went, Jim, Jim, what we got to do? Whoever scores the goal, yeah. we've got to do the celebration, keep all that, sit down, act as him. And he said, whoever scores it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's got to be. I said, I ain't doing it. If we score, I said, I ain't doing it if we're 4-0 down. I said, no, 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 we'll get rinsed. Anyway, we're only 1-0 down and the penalty comes. Yeah. I'm taking a pen, ain't I? Notch, but I'll go off and you're totally forgetting all the boys get me and we do the celebration, yeah. which was absolutely fantastic. And in that clip, you even see the Man City fans clapping. They loved it. It was, it was a brilliant. great sell Everyone could, like, they knew where it was coming from. Brownie afterwards, I always remember, and everyone asked me, where did he find it? Yeah. And do you know what? I remember I've walked in, he's on a laptop. So he's watching the cello. Yeah. And he, he pulled us all and he pulled me with it. That'd be the last of that, though, Jim, wouldn't it? I went, yeah, 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 course, Brownie, course, <laughs> course. But it, do, do you know what it done? It carboshed it through. Yeah. It killed it. And all the press, and he laughed about it. And he he done the press conference great afterwards. And, do you know, no one talked about it after. Yeah, of course. It was like, all oh, done. We made a f- bit of fun of it. I think it helped the, the actual the camaraderie, the whole the thing yeah. over it. I think in the end, it was an all win. Yeah. It's an all win situation. Wicked, though. Wicked sellout. Yeah, is Still it? Still on some of the computer games, you know. Is it? Yeah, mate, it's my, I should be getting raw is out of that. <laughs> it's an absolute joke. I'm in a, I was in Kingston the other week with my little and I get these kids just jump, sit down around me and just start filming. Tell us off, tell us off. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just no way. That, honestly, Jay, off the head, mate. It's so funny. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, um, I've got to ask you, you know, talking to managers, uh, you've had Paul Jewell at Wigan. Yeah. And you, you said to me off air, Wigan yeah. was a good time for you with Paul Jewell and that, but you had a few uh, few rucks with him. Yeah, yeah. Paul, honestly, Jay, I had five years at Wigan. You know, we come from nowhere, really. Div one to the Premier League. Yeah. Great manager, loved him. You know what? Probably the best manager I had. Just to win things, do you get what I mean? When you're winning as a player, you know, Jay, it's so much easier and it's so much nicer. I've been in a few teams where relegation battles, it ain't nice. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's a different part of the game. But anyway, Paul Joel, brilliant. Now, I remember this one time, you know, we got in a Premier League and um, I just, he dropped me for a game Chelsea away. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not having this. So I go in, I'm fuming. Go in the office, sit on the chair. He's like, what's the matter? I said, you know what's the matter? I said, I ain't played... I'll oh, give him the spill, mate. Like, I ain't played since a kid in the playground and be dropped at Chelsea away and yeah. played me at West Brom at home. You're mad, ain't you? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> well, I'm the manager. I said, no, I'm not having it. I just... We was going back and fro for about three, four minutes. I just flung the chair back in the office, turned around and ran out. He jumps over the desk. No way. Mate, as I've undone the door, he shuts the door on me head, <laughs> squeezes me head against the door, and all I can see is the head scat through the air. I'm Bill! Bill! He's got me! He drags me back through the door. I'll go for him. Like, what am I thinking? Trying to hit a gaffer. He's like, calm down. Do you know how strong he was? He was built like an ox, mate. <laughs> he picked me up and just starts levering me. I'm like, get off. He's like, hey, like any scarce accent could ever go. I'm telling you. I'm like, oh, no, I can't believe it. But you know what? What are you what? doing swinging for the gap? That's embarrassing. It was embarrassing. <laughs> we just start thinking he's ragged. Why do you think you're so hard, Jim? Look at I you. I can ever go. When I go, I go. And then he... <laughs> I don't think, mate, it's embarrassing. I just lose my nut. And then... He says to me, I'm your guy, like, straightens me up. But you know what? That man never once, I don't think that story's, I don't even, uh, it's in my book, I think. But I don't think he's ever said uh, said anything about it. Never once told the press, especially close to it. Yeah. Never once did I hear any murmur of it. Yeah. So that's how I know the man's got me. Do you get what I mean? And you know what? He gave me a run out of Chelsea, albeit 25 minutes. But then he started me the very next game. Yeah. So, look. You think highly of him massive yeah that's and there was other things 
where he backed me. Yeah, of course. As my manager, you know, left me out, of, hung me out of dry Ipswich, but that's, <laughs> that's what it is. You know what I mean, Paul? You know what I mean, if you're hearing. <laughs> but, mate, he was a manager, so you've got to respect that. Yeah. He's got to manage a football club. He, he manages... I could just imagine you with your head squeezed in mate, the door. It, do you know what? It hurt so bad. <laughs> he didn't realise. It was like, so, he just jammed me head. <laughs> it's disrespectful, really, isn't it? I was his, I was his main player. <laughs> Use me, me head as a wedge. <laughs> wedge head. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Classic, yeah, blinder. Classic. Absolute mustard. Oh. But love you, love you, Jolie. Love you, son. Oh. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.